So, when I was editing our video of how to make your internet connection better on a Nintendo Switch using a Raspberry Pi Ethernet bridge, <coughs> shameless plug, I got to the part where I wanted to show a line graph that depicted the trends of internet speeds for different connection methods. It's really easy to make any sort of graph in Excel or Google Sheets, export it as an image, and import it into Adobe Premiere or whatever editing software you're using, but just adding a little bit of motion can turn into a nightmare. I mean, check out this tutorial. It totally works, but every time I want to show a new graph, I have to basically rebuild it using lines and text in After Effects. Yuck. Today I want to show you a super easy way to animate graphs in After Effects to use in your videos. Alright, so to do this, you'll need After Effects and Illustrator, but that's all you need in terms of Adobe software. So once you're in your Google Sheet, I'm using actually the same graphs as I used for the Raspberry Pi Ethernet Bridge video. So there's two line graphs and then a bar graph. I'm going to show you how to do this with the line graphs but this method applies to pie charts or whatever you want so once you have your graph here you're going to click on it and then there's these three little dots in the top right corner you're going to hit download and then scalable vector graphics this means no matter how big you scale this graph it won't show any pixels because vector is like a mathematical equation so it always looks smooth and won't be pixelated it's what we want for this video so once you've downloaded that you can double click and it's going to launch in internet explorer or whatever and you'll see the scalable vector graphics so you can zoom in all you want and it's not going to get pixelated uh, but what we're going to want to do is right click on it and hit open with adobe illustrator this is because after effects can't read SVG file straight up, so we're gonna have to save this in an Illustrator file and then bring that into After Effects. And if you look in Illustrator at the Layers tab, you can see all the paths that it drew to make this SVG. So you can hide you know, the legend or you can hide certain numbers, but these are all separate layers, which is good for us because when we apply stroke animation in After Effects, we can just single out each line because it's its own layer. So I'm going to save this as a .ai file, I'm not going to change anything there, and we're going to open up After Effects. All right, so we're going to make a new composition in After Effects. This is where you can choose 1080p, 4K. I'm just going to choose, I'm going to, I'm going to choose uh, 4K since this video is in 4K and hit OK. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a white solid and then I'm going to import our Illustrator file from wherever we saved it. I'm going to drag it into the composition. You can see it's really small, but if we hit S on the keyboard and just scale it up a ton once it uh, renders. But you can see it's not pixelated at all. If we download this as a .png and scale it up like this, pixels all over the place, this looks okay. From what I know, there's no way to see the layers of a uh, Illustrator file in After Effects. So what we're going to have to do is right click it and click create shapes from vector layer. And then it gives us this shape layer whose contents just has all of these things it's drawn from the vector file. So it's got a legend still and I can turn on and off that little yellow legend bit if I wanted. And so this is good for us because as you can see this blue line has path that it drew with these dots in between which is weird and we're gonna have to delete them later but every line has its own layer which is good news for us this is the tricky bit you can't actually just like click on a line and find it i've never been able to so i have to go through each group it's usually in the center um, to find these lines and delete all the dots so we're gonna do that right now also if you're annoyed with all this blue selection hold Control shift h or command shift h if you're on a mac so i'm just going to go through and hit the i on different groups and see what reappears and disappears and i can see group 23 here is the first dot on the yellow line so i'm going to go through delete 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 and i'm just going to keep an eye on if it keeps deleting these circles along the yellow line and then i'm going to see is group 33 is that going to be the red green or blue line it's the red line so i'm going to delete 33 34 make sure it's deleting just these circles this is a tedious process but it only takes you like five minutes when you get good at it rather than just remaking a whole graph in after effects i think this is way easier and then usually below all of these circles are going to be the actual lines themselves so group 63 is going to be the yellow line 
64 is the red line 65 is going to be the green line and then 66 is the blue line i also you can't rename these which would help but i just have to remember group 66 65 64 and 63 are our lines so once we find a group of lines we're going to click on a group you're probably the first one come up here to this add arrow and click trim paths and if I grab this end value here and lower the percentage, even though After Effects is going into this adaptive resolution and eighth resolution, it looks all pixely and bad. The line is at a different spot, you know, 50%. That's the dead middle of the graph. 0% it wouldn't start yet. And so we can make a keyframe from zero to a hundred to make it look like the line is being drawn. So I'm gonna make a keyframe at time zero. And then I'm gonna go ahead for maybe a second or a second and a half ish and make it a hundred percent. And so now if we do a quick RAM preview, you can see the line is just gonna animate from left to right, which looks pretty cool. But we can make it look a little smoother if we add some easy ease, go into the graph editor. And instead of looking at you know, value graph, we're gonna look at the speed graph, take the keyframe on the right and we're going to make this sort of shape with the keyframe graph. So that way it's going to speed up and it's going to slow down as it gets closer to the end here. I like the look of that. Uh, I'm also going to enable motion blur on this layer. So just, yeah, I think it looks better, but this is all personal preference. So you can add motion blur if you want, or you can remove it. And since we already did the keyframe work on the first line here, we can just take trim paths one copy it and then go to group 64 expand its contents and then go to time zero paste and now you can see that the red line is also animating with it we're going to do the same for group 65 you have to make sure your uh, needle over here is at time zero because if it's not let's say i'm at one second and i paste it it's going to start the effect or the keyframe from you know wherever the needle is so you have to go back to time zero paste it. I don't know why I call it needle. I think it's called playhead. I don't know. So now it's applied to all of our lines. And if we hit play, we can see that they're animated the same and it looks pretty cool. And if we turn back on motion blur and let it render, then it looks like this. And you can see here, there's also the text. So you can animate the text to go into or uh, these grid lines you can animate those with the trim paths as well and you can make this however you want i think this already looks way better than just having a static image on the screen so yeah you can make this your own but i'm just going to leave it at that thank you guys for watching this tutorial it's very easy once you get good at this you can do this in under five minutes ten minutes and it's just so much easier than remaking another graph every time in after effects so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in another video